Thank you for calling Optus Support. How can I help you? Hi. My Optus email not working through Outlook. I can see them coming. The new emails are working fine. But it's not sending. Why outgoing emails are not working? Hello? Are you still there? Hello? So the problem is bothering you too. Let's see how to fix this. This problem happens cause of the blocked email outgoing port by your internet provider. Optus email typically sends through port number 25 only, which is blocked by almost every ISP. Might be working for you if you are on Optus internet. Maybe they know they have to keep this port open so people can send emails through Outlook. So what can you do about this now, when it's your internet provider itself who is blocking the email? Here's what you will need to do to fix this. Relay your emails through another email provider, who is using another email outgoing port. 465 or 587. Like Gmail, using port 465 typically, to send emails. 465 and 587 email ports are not blocked by any internet provider, because they don't send your emails in plain text, and are not abused by the spammer over the internet. Here's a detailed breakdown of the steps we will take to make this happen. First step is to add your Optus email in Gmail. Then, we make sure IMAP settings in Gmail is enabled. After that, generate app-specific password. And finally, we will add the Gmail IMAP in Outlook. You will need a gmail.com email to start. If you don't have any Gmail ID yet, sign up for a new one. Log in to your Gmail email through any browser. Once in, click on the gear icon on the top right corner and then see all settings. This will take you to the Gmail settings page. In the settings page, click on accounts and import. Look for add another email address option and click on it. In this new window, enter your name and the Optus email address. Keep the box treat as an alias checked. Click next step. In this window, enter mail.optusnet.com.au in the SMTP server field, your full Optus email address in the username field, and your Optus email password in the password box. Select Unsecured Connection and port number 225. Click Add Account. Close this window. Gmail will now send a verification email in your Optus inbox. Log in to your Optus account or open it in Outlook. As the Outlook is receiving the emails, you will receive the Gmail verification email. In the verification email, click on the link to verify that it's actually you who is trying to add the Optus email in the Gmail. It will take you to this screen. Click on Confirm. Optus email is now added in Gmail. Time to make sure IMAP settings are working. If not, let's enable it. Go to the Gmail settings page again. Click on gear icon then see all settings. In the settings page, go to forwarding and IMAP section. Here, select enable pop for all mail and enable IMAP, if not enabled already, and click save changes. Since you are making a critical change, Google will verify that it's you. Verify your account through the given option. IMAP is now enabled. Time to generate app specific password. Go to myaccount.google.com using the same Gmail ID. Make sure you have two-step verification on, if not enable it by clicking on security. App password will work only when the two-step verification is on. On the top, search for app password, click on the link that appears through search. Here, give it a name, anything you want. I will name it Outlook, and click on create. It will generate the app password, copy it, we will need it in the next step. You can now close the window. Okay, so we have completed three steps so far. Added Optus email to Gmail. Enabled IMAP in Gmail. And we have the app password too. Let's see how to add it to Outlook now. Right click on the Windows Start menu icon and select Run. In the Run box, type in Outlook slash Manage Profiles and click OK. Here select Email Accounts. 
In the next window, click on your Optus email and click Change. In the next screen be very careful while entering the details. One wrong information can lead to failed attempt. In the outgoing mail server field, enter smtp.gmail.com and click on More Settings. Select Outgoing Server from the Parent tabs. Check the radio box on Log on Using. Now enter your Gmail ID in the Username field and the App Password in the Password box. Go for Advanced tab now. First select Encryption Type to SSL TLS from the drop-down menu in Outgoing Server option. This will be either to start LTS or none earlier. And set the port number here to 465, remove 25, and click OK. In these two fields make sure username is set to your Optus full email address. And password is your Optus email password only. Then click Next. If all is fine, you will see these two green checks. Click Close and Finish and Close again. One last step, open Outlook and let it try to sync. If you are running the latest version of Outlook, with all the updates installed you will see that Gmail is now trying to verify you again through a sign-in pop-up screen or through browser login. All you have to do is enter your same Gmail email, and this time you need to enter your original Gmail email password, not the app password, and sign in, and continue with the positive option. This is it, if you're followed everything correctly, you will now be able to send the emails through Outlook. And don't worry, the receiver will see your Optus email only, receiver won't know you sent it through Gmail. If you didn't understand any of the step here, I have added detailed breakdown of these steps in the description. If you still have any confusion or question, don't hesitate to comment.